Hey, UIM Colossi here uh, with another Ultimate Iron Man um, specific guide. Uh, obviously, you can use this on other accounts. Uh, let's say you have like a restricted account to the desert or something. I'm sure this would work as well. Um, but basically, I ran into an issue where I wanted to train my smithing. Um, I need to get to 50 for some quests, and all I had on me were noted steel bars, which I got from Konar Slayer. Um, so it's kind of a unique position to be in for an account. Um, obviously, it's kind of focused on early game. Um, when you have resources that you just don't know what to do with and you want to maximize your experience uh, from those resources because they're limited, um, or you just want to start from scratch, you don't have a lot of money to train at the Blast Furnace, uh, this is a good way to start your smithing grind, uh, make some money to then go do the Blast Furnace for better experience rates. So. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so this is going to be unique per account, obviously. So like if you have noted mithril bars or something, or I don't know, or like me, you have noted steel bars, um, and that's your only bar. Or if you're starting with nothing, um, I'll show you an easy way to acquire um, some some other um, forms of metal so that you can make your um, your alloy basically because the the blast furnace here, is, the whole point of it is to combine two different metals. Um, for me, I'm going to be focusing on iron and steel. I have the steel bars noted, and we're going to acquire iron. So to do that easily, uh, you just exit the cave here at the Giant's Foundry. And all of this, this whole minigame here is accessible after the Sleeping Giants quest. It's a very easy starter quest, uh, which gives you some smithing experience as well. So uh, if you look on the map here, We'll put our compass north. There is a mining spot just to the northeast of us uh, with three iron and three coal. So we're going to walk over to there. And from here, as long as you have access to the uh, superheat item spell uh, and nature runes and fire runes on your person, uh, you can make bars from scratch. Uh, so you just need a pickaxe and... Uh, your runes in order to cast superheat item, and you're good to go. Um, I'm coming over here, and I'm going to mine uh, 14 iron ore. And while I'm mining it, I'm going to superheat it just to save time. And as you see, my I have screen markers set up. Uh, that red one is letting me know when to stop mining iron. That lets me know that I have 14 iron ore. And that's it. We've got 14 iron bars in our inventory. Let me go ahead and run back to the mini game. All right, now that we're here, we just run up to the uh, bank chest up here near the crucible. And this is why I have the second screen marker to let me know that I need to drop four iron bars. And you can set these up any way that works for you. And then we go ahead and unnote our steel or any other bar that you have. So like if you have mithril, you probably want to be doing steel. And we deposit that. Then we pick up the iron bars that we dropped. And we deposit the iron bars. And the amount that you drop is going to be dependent on how many inventory spaces you have. So since I only have 24 inventory spaces, obviously I need to make I need a, a half and half 14-14 uh, for the crucible. So um, I just kind of drop the amount of inventory space that I have taken up, if that makes sense. Uh, so then we go ahead and pour our crucible into the mold. And you're all ready to go. You're ready to take your blade from there, and you're ready to uh, uh, actually do the mini game. And then uh, once you hand it in, you just rinse and repeat the process. And this can be done uh, completely from scratch as well. So since you have access to both coal and iron at that same mine, you can actually go there um, with no noted bars in your inventory at all. Let's say you're an ultimate Iron Man with no resources starting starting out. Uh, you can make and given you have the smithing level already to make the steel, uh, you can go ahead and make 14 steel and 14 iron all from scratch, and then come in here, make your blade, get some money, and get really good experience. Uh, I think I average around probably 5.5k uh, experience per blade that I make with this uh, steel and iron combination, and uh, we get a good amount of money for, from each one. I, th I think the last one I made, I got like 12,000 gold, so it's... Uh, Pretty quick, pretty decent money, and really fast experience. Um, 
that's really all I have to say about that. Uh, if this helped you in any way, uh, this is honestly my first time um, having to train smithing with this minigame out. I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of guides are out there or if this is even going to be useful or if it's too niche. Uh, but if it helped you at all, just uh, go ahead and leave it a like. Uh, let me know. I, I, I'm really kind of just throwing this one out there because I, I, I honestly don't know what accounts will really benefit from this. It's a very unique situation, I feel like. So, uh, yeah, with that, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I will link my, I have a UIM progression series. Uh, so if you want to check me out, go ahead. I'll link it at the end of this video. Take care. Mm -hmm.